Hey, good Saturday evening to you. I'm NBC3 meteorologist Molly Matat. What a gorgeous day we are wrapping up. We topped out at 77 degrees by the early afternoon today. While that still is, I guess if you want to say technically speaking, below average for our usual high around this time of year at 80 degrees, it felt great. And it was because of the cool start in the morning. Overnight, we cooled back into the 50s for the first time in a while. We've had a couple warm and muggy nights thanks to that heavy rain that we saw on Thursday. That took a lot of moisture out, and that means that we're looking at a couple more cool nights, but that also means it is dry here in central New York. Triple Doppler brought to you by Cuga Community College is nice and quiet. Some very small showers down to the south, but most of these are not even reaching the surface. The dew points in central New York are so low that some of this uh, precipitation is evaporating before it hits the surface, so you're not even really feeling the rain that's showing up on the radar and it looks like we're in store for a gorgeous weekend. A dome of high pressure is moving through central New York. That's going to keep things relatively quiet through the day tomorrow. We'll get a touch warmer, but other than that, man, this weekend looks absolutely great. So if you want to get outside, if you didn't have a chance to do so today, maybe you're moving into college on Sunday and you had to do that last minute packing. I've been there. Tomorrow is going to be an absolutely stunning day to get outside. Humidity is low and it's going to be nice and warm. Now, if you look further out to the west, yeah, it looks like a little bit of a mess right now. These are all the watches and warnings that's coming with this system. These are actually tornado watches that are out in the Midwest for now. This is actually a low pressure center with its cold front extending all the way down into the Midwest. This is going to start to press in on Monday afternoon, but it's going to kind of stall out and take its time. And by the time it gets here, it's going to be much weaker than it is right now. Not to mention we're dry in central New York. Like I just told you, those dew points are really low, so the system isn't going to be able to tap into a lot of that moisture give us any heavy rain or major storms. So what we're looking at for Monday afternoon when this sweeps through are maybe just a few rain showers here and there, maybe an isolated thunderstorm or two. But most of us are actually going to, well, not most of us are going to end up dry, but a lot of us aren't going to see the bulk of the action once this cold front sweeps through. Much cooler air works into central New York. I have our, our highs are back in the 70s. But let's plan out the immediate future for you with Futurecast. We start tonight at 8 p.m. A couple clouds still lingering around. We did have some stubborn batches of cloud cover earlier in the day, and that's why our temperatures didn't reach into our normal 80s for this time of year. As we head overnight, we're going to dry out mainly clear skies, maybe some patchy valley fog near the river valleys and also maybe near the shorelines of the lakes across central New York. It'll be a cool start in the 50s again. So if you were chilly last night, it's about the same temperature range that we're looking at for tomorrow morning as well. By noon, our temperatures are skyrocketing, maybe some clouds for, for Further off to the east of central New York across the Mohawk Valley and over in Shenango County. The Futurecast wants to get some isolated showers going, but I think most of us are going to remain completely dry tomorrow with plenty of sunshine rising us back into the 80s. And by the time we're heading to 8 o'clock, all looks okay. So the backyard forecast should actually say get out in the backyard forecast because it's going to be 83 degrees, sun and clouds, low humidity, an absolutely perfect day. If you're determined to get off to the beach tomorrow's or out on the water, not really that much of a breeze either. Winds out of the east southeast making for some very subtle waves away from Lake Ontario. So if you're on that eastern shore near Oswego or up on the eastern shore, it's actually going to be pretty calm since the winds are blowing the water away from the shoreline. Over on Oneida Lake, winds out of the east southeast making for some waves on the west Western shore and things are still pretty flat over on the Finger Lakes. That UV index is high, even though we're rounding out the end of the summer. So all in all, what to expect? A great weekend. Our next shot for rain is Monday, and then we get in kind of a cooler and unsettled pattern. And you can see that on the seven day forecast. We're back into the 70s, mainly northern New York, getting most of the showers. A great first day for the State Fair on Thursday, though. 75 degrees with just morning showers.